Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I'm back for another iOS Low Vision Spotlight game video this time. And uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I figured eh, I got a couple that I can look through here. And uh, <clears throat> I will mention before we get going that I am still having a few video recording issues. Um, I don't know what happened, it's, but it's got to be something between Fraps and reflector or any other video program that I've tried and reflector um, you know even my old computer had enough hardware to do it because it worked pretty well for a while um, I, even on my old rig and my new rig is more than capable of this task so um, it's not gonna be perfect um, but I'm working the best with what I have still looking into Camtasia as a possibility which may alleviate some of this nonsense but for now, um, <clears throat> let's get this thing going. So let's uh, get the iPad Air up here. We're looking at um, using the iPad this time rather than my iPhone. And the game we're going to look at this time is called Puzzles and Dragons. This is a game that I really knew nothing about, really had no interest in, hadn't even really heard of it much um, until fairly recently. and. Nintendo had done a recent announcement, I think it was one of their Nintendo Directs or something, I don't remember when they announced it, but um, they are coming out with a Puzzles and Dragons, kind of a Nintendo or Mario edition for the 3DS, and it's super popular, the Puzzles and Dragons thing I guess is super popular in Japan, it's getting more popular over here, uh, the app was free on the iPad, so I thought... Eh, well, let's at least look at the traditional non-Mario-esque version and see what it is. Basically, it... it oh, huh, then I tapped the wrong icon. Whoops, my bad. Let me uh, get out of that. And just go to my app switcher here. <clears throat> and here we got the menu up here. So, Puzzles and Dragons is kind of a... Another one of those match three or more puzzle games. You know, I've covered Puzzle Quest 1 and 2 on the channel, which are excellent games, and I think some of the best iterations of the match three. Uh, 10 million, that is another one, especially on the tablet or where you have a touch screen. That is another really fun one, and it's a little bit different. Puzzles, puzzles and Dragons is kind of similar to these, st these style games. The main difference is in how you can play the board and I'll get to that when I get to the board itself so I'm just gonna run you through really quickly along the bottom we have these tabs and uh, I haven't even explored everything in this game myself because like I said it's just I just started playing this not too terribly long ago um, but there's all kinds of stuff so basically you've got your dungeon on the left you know I can choose between all my missions uh, which we'll do shortly um, my monster screen, I kind of call this like a, almost like a Pokemon meets Bejeweled, or Pokemon meets Puzzle Quest sort of thing. Um, I haven't wrapped my head around all of the monster or, or dragons and things on how to, because basically, uh, if you look at here, I can choose my monster party here. Uh, you know, I can kind of choose which ones I want to take with me, what order I want to have them in. And right now, like I said, I've just kind of put a few in there and I'm playing a little bit with it. Uh, if I tap on one of these, I can swap it out. You know, we don't want to do that right now. Um, so we'll just go like that. I can get, uh, I'll tap on one of them and it'll give me his attributes any special uh, abilities that he has. You know, some of them can heal, some of them have other attributes like for the board, some of them can, you know, all kinds of general puzzle-esque things that you would expect. So we are going to uh, back. Okay, I was gonna say, how do we go back here? So I can choose my party. Now, the one thing I will say is in some areas <clears throat> of the screen, especially the menus and not so much the main menu, um, but when you're going into like the stats screens and this screen here, 
some of the fonts can be a little hard to read. Um, I mean, there's good contrast in them. I don't have a problem with that, but I do have, you know, some of the text can be a little bit small in some cases. Uh, so let's go back again. Um, here is where you can basically, so you can only hold so many of these monsters at a time and you can, you know, you can increase your carrying capacity so you can store more, but then you can also combine creatures. So, um, it's kind of weird. So like I can tap on, I'm going to tap on the second one here and I can select it or I can view its uh, stats and all that kind of stuff. And then you see here, I've got all these little squares in the middle of my screen and I can tap on one of these. And then I can say, okay, I wanna combine it with something. And here's where I haven't really taken the time. Like I said, I haven't played this a whole lot, but uh, I haven't wrapped my head around like, okay, I'm guessing, you know, certain elemental things you wanna have, like, okay, if you get an ice thing, you might wanna combine it with a stronger ice thing. That makes sense to me. But finding all the combinations and figuring out what can be combined with what. So, I don't know, I'm just going to take one of these that I've got to double up on here. And I'll say, sure, let's uh, merge this thing together. It is a good merge. You have good, I think there's a great, and I forget what they call the other one, like awesome or something like that. I don't really remember, but that that's kind of a quick um, way of, see now I have one less... Um, guy on my on my uh, monster screen there so I can also evolve a monster which I haven't totally figured out yet either like I said this is just gonna be an intro to this puzzles and dragons game so there is actually a fair number of things there, there's a lot of complexity to this okay so a lot of it says like you have to have you have to have a monster leveled up so high in order for it to before you can evolve it. So I, I don't fully understand all of how that works. I'm going to go back again and I'm going to go to my party here. I want to switch out. Hmm. Let's switch out this guy for that guy because I just I just unlocked him not too long ago so we changed our party a little bit there um, I'm not gonna go through all of these options because there's just so much I mean the, the on the bottom here you've got a shop tab you can buy and upgrade stuff here um, let's see what is this tab here um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Egg machine. So I haven't even really played in this all that much. So this is another thing that I'm totally new to. And I really need to spend some time in there. I can probably get things, you know, do some things better and uh, make my gameplay a little bit easier. So, like I said, I'm not going to go through all this stuff because I'd be here forever. And I don't understand all of it myself. However, let's get to the core of the game, shall we? So I'm going to go to my left tab here. And I am going to choose a mission that I would like to do. And you can replay missions if you want to, uh, it looks like. But uh, I'm going to choose this flashing one that says new here. And I'll explain the puzzle mechanics. Now you can also choose somebody to kind of um, go with you. So there's a whole friend mechanic as well. So like you're trying to work with other players to make things easier and you know you can get the help of their abilities and things like that. Uh, again, I'm still trying to figure all this out myself. Let's get into the game proper. I'm just gonna choose one. Here's my party and let's go. So I'm not gonna promise anything as far as me doing well, but hey, here we go. So we have our for kind of our first person dungeon, you know, kind of like you'd see in a lot of early um, RPGs, uh, PC RPGs or something like that. Um, you've got your, those, the two monsters that we got up there. We are going to be fighting them. They got little health bars below them. We got my party in the middle of the screen right above the board. 
And then we have the bottom oh, half of the screen or so is the board itself. So remember, like most things like Puzzle Quest or, well, I won't say 10 million, that's a little different, but the Puzzle Quest, Bejeweled, you're really moving things like one thing at a time. So like you're switching one block for another to make three or more strings up, down, left and right, whatever. What's different about this is I can move a block as much as I want. Like I can move it from all the way to the right, all the way over to the left, or all the way up, all the way down, or anywhere in between to make that combo. So I'm not limited what's adjacent to each other. So just like any other puzzle game, you know, you have your different colored blocks, you have your different, and they're different shapes, which is nice because, you know, for some people, green and yellow may look a little bit too close together. So those, um, that, that pinkish square block is maybe a little bit close to those purple ones there. Um, so let's just start playing here. I'm gonna see if there's, let's see. We got some blue ones there. Uh, I would like to, so the square ones are, are really nice because they're health. The red ones are generally attack, at least for me, with the creatures that I've chosen. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out some of this other stuff. So let's take this green, see we've got this yellow one here. We're gonna switch it down there. That's only one, okay. Uh, well, so far I'm actually only doing one at a time here, but I will definitely demonstrate to you. I'll definitely demonstrate to you um, that you can move blocks further. Okay, I do actually want to attack. And just above the play field there, that really long health bar, that uh, bar, that is my health. So we got to pay attention to that as well. Um, so I can take this blue one, let's say, shove him all the way over here. Okay. Uh, let's get these greens here. Pretty simple. Now, watch my monsters, too, because if they start to flash, like if I'm building up some of their abilities, too, and once I do, I can tap on them and I can use their special abilities. So, let's see, if I were wanting to do something... Ugh. Let's see, I'm trying to find... I'm trying to actually find a valid move here. Uh, is there... Ah, here we go, we can get that red in here. Okay. And now we have the boss of the level. So typically you have three or four battles in each little dungeon episode or whatever you want to call them. And these bosses are starting to actually take quite a while to bring down. And they can kick your butt pretty quickly, so you better watch your health bar. Um, I want more red because I want to start attacking these, but I can't do there. Um, you know, so I do, you know, I like these better than a lot of these, like, just clicky face, you know, like, Facebook games or, like, um, oh, I'm trying to think of the name of them, you know, like the Game of War or whatever, you know, all these other ones. I can't even think of the name of them. I just have no interest in playing them at, at all because you're just clicking on meters, uh, really, and you, there's not a whole lot of strategy to it. Where this, you know, yes, it's a casual game, but, it, you know, at least there is some skill. Like, yeah, I can overlook um, if I have four of a kind somewhere or if I make up a cool combo, uh, I can do that. Or if I miss that combo, that's totally my fault when to use my uh, power-ups or monsters. So like, okay, see the one that's flashing on the left now? I tap him, tell it yes, boom, there we go. All right, and let's continue the destruction here and use some of my red mana there, okay. We're doing all right, man, that guy's got a lot of health. 
Uh, I'm going to grab more health. There we go. Um, not sure how much longer, you know, I mean, I'll play through the rest of this battle, win or lose. Not sure if I'm going to play more than that, but this should at least give you an idea of what Puzzles and Dragons is. Uh, like I said, I can't go too deeply into all of the, like, managing your monsters and things like that. All your, I, I can't go into all the detail on how that works because I don't know all of it myself just yet. Uh, one thing I should mention is, uh, we're on a boss right now, so you can't really tell, but um, if you're fighting um, in a level, one of the things that can happen, and I'm not exactly sure how to cause it to happen, but uh, what you can do is you can, if you get a monster in a state, you won't necessarily kill it, but it'll turn into an egg. And when you do that, if you defeat all the other monsters in that battle, then you will be able to capture that egg. And then if, if I were to beat this dungeon, let's say, then I can collect that egg. And then that's how I increase my monsters that I can combine and evolve and all that nonsense. So, like you said, that, that's another element of that's how you acquire new creatures to fight for you. Um, ooh, four of a kind. Excellent. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, yeah, that did some nice damage. Very nice. Okay. Ooh, another four of a kind. Sometimes you can just get some really epic combos. Like if you start dinging around on the bottom of the play field and uh, you just start get getting these little gems to cascade. Uh, you can get some very cool combos, and I've just, like, annihilated a boss by doing that before. Definitely some satisfaction doing that there. Alright, more health stuff. I think I can use my left guy again. Alright, that's my primary monster that I chose at the beginning, or dragon that I chose at the beginning, whatever you want to call it. Creature. Alright, uh, nope, I can't do four kinds, so we're just going to do that. He's getting down there health-wise. My health is actually quite good right now, so we're doing A-OK. -okay. Uh, I would like to get more red, because that seems to do a nice... No uh, here we go. There we go. Ask and show receive. Alright. Uh, do some more green one. That's just an obvious one that I saw. I'm trying to hurry things on. I mean, like I said, I might be playing this a little bit differently on my own. But just trying to keep the flow of the video going here. Uh, go like that. And... Let's do some more of that. Should be... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Very... Yeah! And you're done. Alright, I finished that challenge. Okay. And I get an egg. And that is a... Uh, one that I've already gotten, so it doesn't do like a whole hurrah, like, here's the amount, here's the creature, here's the stats. Um, that's one that I've already gotten, so it just kind of shows you that, okay, you got another one of these. Um, I suppose I can try to quickly do, well, yeah, I'll try to do one more real quick. See if I can fly through, I'm just gonna tap all the defaults here real quick. Alright. And we'll see what other monstrosities we get to fight here. See if I can uh, capture a couple more eggs and add a few more creatures to my roster. Or get my butt kicked, whatever happens first. So, you know, like I said, it's nothing too out of the ordinary. I mean, the main difference is, like I said, you've got a lot of depth as to what monsters you choose. So, okay, there we got an egg. So after I kill this guy... Uh, I will be able to collect that, and um, I will have that stocked up should I beat the rest of this mission. Alright, I need some offense here. 
Boom. There we go. That did a pretty good job. Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Not a whole lot else to really say, um, at least based on what I know about the game thus far. When I first started, it was actually really interesting because it was a hard mindset to think of, oh yeah, I can actually look at blocks everywhere. I have to look at the whole field, not just like what's right next to each other. And that did actually take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, you know, I'm still kind of like, eh, I, I know I'm overlooking moves because I'm just not used to, like I said, looking at the board that way. Okay. Greenin. Okay, that works. Uh huh. My health is good. Let's use that a little bit here. Ooh, there we go. This is another really good game. I was actually, the other reason I wanted to check this out is um, I was looking for something a, a little different again. You know, I have my kind of staple of games that I play when I'm listening to a podcast or an audiobook or something like that. And I just, I wanted to find something else that um, I could easily play without sound. You know, like, yeah, this has sound effects, it has music, but it's not crucial to hear. Oh my, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got a bunch of dudes to kill here. Let's uh, grab these gems there. Like I said, I'm not paying too close attention to the field. I'm just kind of eyeballing things really quick to keep things moving. Sure, let's grab some blue. Um, sure. Oh my, okay, about half, oh my. Okay, I desperately need some health. Good thing, ooh, no, would you stop it? Let's use that old monster over there. Oh wow, that didn't give me much health at all. Before he was giving me a lot. That's not good. Let's uh, attack, kill some of these dudes maybe so that I can Try to stay alive a little longer? Okay, can I get any health? Mm, not really, not with the layout that we've got. I might actually die here. So, uh, looks like we might be wrapping this thing up fairly quickly, or fairly shortly. Okay, that guy's gone. Uh, would you kindly give me some health? That would be... Much appreciated, guys. Yep, game over. Alright, that's fine. You know what, that's okay. And so, you get these other um, gems or whatever they call them here, and if I wanted to, I could resurrect and keep on going. No, I don't. I didn't even get to the boss, so I don't mind playing that challenge over again. But yeah, um, there you go. That is kind of a quick look at Puzzles and Dragons. Um... Eh, you know, I, I could see playing this uh, like a fun Mario version with, you know, all kinds of Mushroom Kingdom characters on the uh, 3DS. Honestly, I would prefer to have it on the Wii U because I actually wouldn't mind playing it on my Wii U touchpad. Um, because it's just because it's a bigger screen than even the 3DS XL. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I for you know as many of these match three games as there are uh, this one is not too shabby um, I don't mind it really at all so that is puzzles and dragons it's available on iOS and there may be some DS or 3ds versions floating around out there somewhere I don't really know uh, like I said I just got exposed to this whole franchise not too long ago myself. It's very popular in Japan, supposed to be getting very popular here in the U.S. So, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.